I'm Judd, co-founder of Diabetes Smarts. I've spent the past several years studying diabetes, and though I'm not a diabetic myself, I've taken the lessons I learned from doctors, nutritionists, and physical fitness experts to heart. I've lost over 20 pounds, lowered my cholesterol levels, and improved my fitness. Did I start a fad diet? Did I join a gym? No. I've simply made walking between 6,000 to 10,000 steps an everyday habit, and I've changed my nutritional habits as well. I took all my delicious but addictive processed packaged food items and replaced them with a wide spectrum of natural, cost-effective, and nutrition-packed foods. My fridge morphed from sad and half-full to vibrant and overflowing. So, I want to share with you my personal 15 most favorite healthy food staples you'll find in my pantry and fridge and freezer. But I've come to love and rely upon so many healthy foods that I just couldn't fit them all into this list. That's why my list must include an honorable mention. Avocados. In some ways, my favorite vegetable or fruit, depending on who you ask. Avocados are the gift that keeps on giving. But because this green wonder is seasonal, during some periods of the year, avocados may be a bit pricey in certain locations. That's why I'm putting avos as an honorable mention. They may only be cost effective for you at certain times of the year, but when these special bundles of flavor and nutrition are in season, my cupboard is overflowing with avos. Yes, avocados contain a good amount of fat, about 6 grams. However, these fats are those healthy omega-3 fatty acids. They're also loaded with beneficial vitamins and nutrients, like beta-carotene and potassium. Plus, avos are high in fiber and low in carbs, so they won't negatively impact your blood sugar. Avocados are, in my mind, one of the most versatile healthy foods on the planet. I add them to a worldwide variety of dishes, from traditional egg-based breakfasts, to stir-fries, to burritos, to homemade sushi rolls. And who doesn't love good old guacamole? It's pronounced guacamole! <sighs> make sure to make avocados a special part of your diet as well. And now, on to my 15 favorite healthy food staples. Number 15, apple cider vinegar. This type of vinegar may smell particularly sweet and strong, but a little apple cider vinegar goes a long, long way. Recent studies suggest that apple cider vinegar may work to reduce blood sugar, cholesterol, and belly fat while increasing insulin sensitivity and satiety, meaning it will help you feel fuller quicker. And just two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar consumed before bedtime has been shown to reduce fasting glucose levels for type 2 diabetics. But why add it to your bedtime routine when you can quickly and easily add a few drops to most any meal? I use apple cider vinegar in my salad dressings, in my meat marinades, even in my afternoon lemon teas. Number 14. Apples. If there's one fruit that you can always find in my home, it's apples. The quintessential fruit, apples, give you a perfect snacking serving size. Though a medium-sized apple will send about 20 grams of sugar racing through your bloodstream, it gives you about 4 grams of fiber to help slow your body's insulin response. And apples also supply you with other excellent vitamins, nutrients, antioxidants, and water content. Apples have been shown to be an excellent choice if you've got sudden hunger pangs. They can help fill you up so that you won't end up raiding the cupboard. I eat apples as a dessert so I can get some sweetness while also getting full. Number 13. Carrots. Carrots are non-starchy, meaning that though they contain a certain amount of carbs, they are low glycemic. They do, however, have a significant vitamin content as well as fiber. Carrots will also supply you with beta-carotene, which can help reduce oxidative stress, 
and potassium, which can help control blood pressure. I love keeping extra carrots on hand because I use them as a pasta substitute. I simply run them through my spiralizer, saute them with just a bit of extra virgin olive oil and some garlic, and voila, a tasty pasta dish that won't spike my glucose levels. Number 12, red onions. In my mind, most every dish needs some onion. Not only will it lend your meal that unique, sharp flavor, red onions will give you a ton of health benefits. Studies have shown that eating 100 grams of red onion can significantly lower blood sugar levels. Plus, red onions are loaded with fiber. They're low calorie and low glycemic, and they are chock full of beneficial vitamins, antioxidants, and other nutrients like folate and potassium. The anti-inflammatory properties of red onions can help reduce the risk of heart disease by helping to lower blood pressure and cholesterol levels. I add raw red onions to my salads and my salsas, and I love to saute red onions in a wide variety of dishes, from chicken dinners to seafood pastas to veggie sandwiches. Number 11, garlic. By now, you've probably heard a lot about the impressive health benefits of garlic. Just make sure you're not a vampire before consuming. Studies show that garlic can reduce chronic inflammation lower glucose levels, improve blood pressure, and even help your body get rid of that naughty LDL cholesterol. Garlic is a low glycemic herb, and one clove only contains four calories. I add garlic to my fry pan whenever I'm sauteing veggies. I also love roasting full garlic cloves in the oven and then spreading it across 100% whole wheat bread. However you choose to use your garlic will be right for you and your body. Just make sure to grab a breath mint, or 10, after a garlicky meal. Number 10, extra virgin olive oil. Most any meal usually requires a bit of cooking oil. And the general medical and nutritional opinion is that extra virgin olive oil is the healthiest cooking oil on the market. Why? Olive oil contains oleic acid, a healthy monounsaturated fat, which makes it a far better option for your cooking than going with canola oil or other heavily processed saturated fat oils. Olive oil, loaded with powerful antioxidants, may reduce the risk of strokes, heart disease, cancer, and even Alzheimer's disease. Of course, it has also been shown to reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. Anytime I need a healthy cooking oil, I reach for my big bottle of extra virgin olive oil. And just a little bit goes a long way. For sauteing veggies or meat, simply use half a teaspoon of olive oil. I also use olive oil as a base for my homemade salad dressings. Number 9. Tomatoes. Tomatoes belong on everything, don't they? At least, that's how I see it, and how I do it. Roma, cherry, heirloom, you can't go wrong with any variety. Yes, some doctors and nutritionists warn us to be careful of nightshades like tomatoes. However, the general consensus is that most people will find a wide variety of health benefits if they consume tomatoes on a regular basis. Low in calories, high in water content, and chock full of lycopene. Tomatoes have properties to aid you in reducing the risk of cancer, heart disease, and eye damage. One study even revealed that eating about one tomato a day may reduce blood pressure for type 2 diabetics. And tomatoes are also an excellent source of fiber, vitamin C, vitamin K, folate, and potassium. I add cherry tomatoes to salads, slice larger tomatoes onto sandwiches, and there's usually a tub of freshly made salsa in my fridge. Number eight, bell peppers. Speaking of salsa, one personal staple I always add to my salsas are bell peppers. Any color works for me. Bell peppers contain anthocyanins, which helps slow the digestion of carbohydrates. They'll also supply you with capsaicin, which can help boost your metabolism and thus may aid in fat burning. 
these delicious peppers also come loaded with helpful antioxidants to help fight inflammation within your body. Bell peppers find their way into an amazing assortment of my meals, including, yes, Mexican dishes, but also in Asian stir-fry dishes, tossed through Italian pastas, or even layered within lunchtime sandwiches. I always keep a full Ziploc bag of chopped bell peppers in my freezer so that I can utilize these crunchy, spicy, flavorful blasts of nutrition at a moment's notice. Number 7. Nuts If you're thinking about cutting down on your meat portions, where should you go to get healthy fat and protein? Go nuts! Walnuts are considered to be amongst the best nuts for combating diabetes because, while they are high in calories, they can actually help you lose weight by keeping your hunger in check. They'll also aid your health by helping you remove that bad LDL cholesterol. And the amazing quantity of antioxidants found within walnuts make them a perfect food for fighting free radical damage and oxidative stress within your body. But regularly eating most any kind of nut will give you an abundance of beneficial vitamins and nutrients, like fiber and folate. Nuts can aid heart health and may reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. There are many ways for you to incorporate nuts into your snacks or your meals. I add walnuts to my salads, cashews to my stir fries, and I use chopped almonds to crust my pan-fried chicken. Number 6. Mushrooms Another low-glycemic, versatile staple of my kitchen are mushrooms. I find myself adding them to most every dish I make. Some studies have shown that white button mushrooms, eaten daily, could aid your gut health and help improve your liver's glucose regulation. And one study even revealed that regular consumption of mushrooms can aid weight management. In general, mushrooms contain anti-inflammatory properties, they are low calorie, and contain a good amount of fiber and water content. With a winning combination of B vitamins, mushrooms can improve the health of your red blood cells and your digestive system. I love sautéing chunky cuts of button mushrooms and layering them atop whole grain bread, along with a mountain of other colorful veggies. You can bake your mushrooms as well. Simply brush them with extra virgin olive oil and sprinkle a bit of minced garlic atop to add amazing complementary flavoring and extra nutrition. Number 5. Fatty Fish Though I've dramatically reduced my meat intake in recent years, fatty fish, especially wild-caught salmon, is a nowadays must for my fridge. My wife loads her pre-made lunches with smoked salmon, and I wrap them into sushi rolls or onto whole grain toast. And just like avocados, fatty fish like wild-caught salmon, mackerel, and even sardines are rich in those heart-healthy omega-3 fats. They also contain an excellent amount of healthy protein, which aids your body in processing carbs and will help you feel full and satisfied. And studies have shown that eating fatty fish like salmon twice a week may reduce the risk of kidney problems for diabetics. Generally considered to be one of the healthiest and leanest meats on the planet, this seafood has the ability to find itself at home in a huge assortment of lunch, dinner, or even breakfast meals. So, row your boat gently on over to your local fishmonger to grab this heart-healthy, diabetes-fighting lean meat today. Number 4. Eggs Eggs have caught a bad rap within the last few decades, but recently the medical consensus has shifted. Yep, eggs are back on the good list. In fact, the American Diabetes Association believes eggs to be a diabetes-fighting superfood. Yes, eggs contain cholesterol, but free-range varieties contain good amounts of the beneficial omega-3 fats. Plus, they are a great source of protein, which can help stabilize your blood sugar. At only 75 calories, one egg can supply you with a ton of nutrients, from potassium to choline which may help improve brain functionality. I eat several healthy and delicious breakfast burritos each week, 
which usually include at least one, if not two, scrambled eggs. I also love hard-boiled eggs for quick protein snacks, or to be chopped up into salads. Number 3. Organic Black Beans Yes, by now I'm sure you know that beans contain carbohydrates. But low-glycemic, complex-carb beans, especially organically grown black beans, can actually help lower blood sugar levels, and can easily become an essential staple in your healthy food regimen. Beans are stuffed with dietary fiber and protein, which will aid your body in balancing blood sugar levels after you eat a carby meal. They've even been shown to reduce cholesterol and triglyceride levels in type 2 diabetics. And get this, beans are a commonality in the diets of populations within the Blue Zones, areas of the world found to have the highest concentration of centenarians. That's people over 100 years old. At my house, we simply soak dried black beans in a pot of water overnight, cook them the next day, and freeze the leftovers. So we always have a stash of black beans ready to be added to burritos, atop salads, or as part of a variety of baked dishes. I've even mashed black beans down into patties and created amazingly delicious yet surprisingly healthy black bean burgers. So if you're looking for a versatile, satisfying, meat-free source of protein, look no further than organically grown black beans. Number 2. Spinach We all know a certain sailor who's seemingly powered just by spinach. Turns out that sailor man had the right idea. Fresh spinach is now an absolute must in my household. I include a freshly made salad with most any meal, and the base of these salads are, more often than not, simply just a handful of spinach. I also make sure to roll sautéed spinach into my burritos, stir-fries, and lunch sandwiches. Spinach is low glycemic, low in calories, low in carbohydrate content, and supremely high in fiber. This leafy green contains superfood levels of folate, iron, and calcium, and nitrates present in spinach have been shown to improve muscle cell efficiency. It's perhaps the most widely available and most cost-effective diabetes-fighting food out there. Spinach is easily frozen as well. Find frozen cubes of spinach in your local supermarket freezer section, or simply wash and freeze any extra fresh spinach before it goes bad. Now you've got that muscle-powering, blood-sugar-lowering, fiber-rich vegetable superfood available to you all year long and without you having to break the bank. So, with all of the versatility and amazing health benefits that spinach gives me, what could possibly be my absolute number one most favorite healthy food staple, you ask? Good question. Everyone has a preference, but for me, the winner must be... Broccoli. Growing up, I was no different than most any kid. I hated broccoli. But now, there's rarely a day where you won't find multiple heads of broccoli in my fridge. Why? Well, for one, as I grew out of my childhood love of fast foods, my palate definitely changed. But more importantly, I finally recognized the nutritional value of these fibrous plants. In fact, recent studies showed that the chemical sulfurophane found in broccoli and other cruciferous vegetables can help control glucose levels. Broccoli is low calorie and low carb. Half a cup of cooked broccoli only contains 27 calories and just 3 grams of carbs. But broccoli also comes loaded with important nutrients like vitamin C and magnesium. I add broccoli to any stir-fry I throw together, and I find ways to include it with baked salmon or even within my burritos. Broccoli can find its way into most any baked dish, sautéed meal, or nutritious soup, or simply throw raw broccoli florets into salads. Anytime you get broccoli into your system, your body will thank you. Well, that's another Diabetes Smarts list in the books. Or, you know, on the channel. 
make sure to check out our other list videos. Just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And don't leave without clicking the link below to grab your free copy of Superfoods for Diabetics and episode one of That Diabetes Documentary. Thanks for watching. We hope you're having a happy and healthy day.